Aloha and mahalo for joining me here on Restaurants of Hawaii on the ThinkTech platform. I'm your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Today, we're going to be giving you a sneak peek of what will be featured at this year's Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. That's right, March 20th and 21st. So, Registration is already open, and I'd like to have my guests please introduce themselves. First of all, the president of Cisco Hawaii, Jason, please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. Jason, he's so shy. Jason, Jason Wong is amazing. He, again, this year is our title sponsor of the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. Jason, I was just saying, it's four years that we've been doing this together. Can you believe it? Uh, time just flies. I, I remember the first one we did, and uh, yeah, we blink in here. Four years uh, have gone by. And in between, there was a pandemic, Jason, right? But oh, it's like I forgot, I forgot about that little that little <laughs> thing. I'm really trying to forget about that, like everybody else. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Jason, for joining me here on on Restaurants of Hawaii. I'd also like to have um, Denise. Please introduce yourself. Sure, my name is Denise Ching, the operations and advertising for the Star Advertiser and Star Events. And we're happy to be here. We um, partner up with HRA to put on this great show once a year. That's correct, right? It's the Hawaii Restaurant um, Association, the HLTA, the Hawaii Lodging and um, Tourism Association, and the Star Events as the three partners that puts on this show. And it's a, a you know a great combination. And we're just really happy, Denise, to have you um, at the lead this year of this is this great event. In the past, to our members and our viewers, you know, we've had five thousand attendees, and this year we're definitely going to surpass it. Denise and her team are doing a great job, and wait to hear all of the exciting exhibitors. Talking about exciting exhibitors, I'd like to have Tyler introduce himself because everybody loves technology. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, my name is Tyler Carvalho, president of Shaka Bots, and we are delighted to be on the show and excited to participate in the upcoming event. Yes, robots. Tyler, we're so excited to see your robots. I have had the pleasure of seeing robots in person, and it has really been a game changer for many of the restaurants that have them. So I'm going to go into a little bit about my story later about those rest those robots and restaurants. So every year, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show brings together the whole food service industry. Yes, this show is only open to our industry. And so if you are part of the food service industry, it's free admittance. And in previous years, as I mentioned earlier, we've had over 5,000 attendees, and this year we're definitely going to surpass this. Just seeing what Denise and her team is doing has been a great, great job. So my first question is to Jason. Jason, it's fantastic to have Cisco on board again as our title sponsor for the fourth year of the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. Could you please elaborate on what drives Cisco, this commitment to this event each year? Yeah, thanks, Cheryl. So, so for the most of the food service people that are going to be listening, you know, Cisco, we are Cisco with an S. If you ask some other people who's Cisco, they think of phones. That's not us. So Cisco, um, if you don't know, is the largest food service distribution company in the entire world. Uh, we're going to eclipse about $80 billion in sales. We're the largest in North America, largest in Europe, and uh, we're looking to continue to expand in Central and South America. So what does that mean for everybody here? Um, we just have a large assortment of products really built better than for anybody in the food service industry. And the show is just a way for Cisco to engage with this great community in Hawaii to come together, because let, let's face it, if you're a food service professional, you're busy. You're probably stuck in the kitchen, in the operation. It's really hard to get away. So when you think about you allocating uh, your some time, when you think about 5,000 members of the community coming together to see the latest innovation in the industry, we really want to be a part of it. We like to try to lead that. Uh, we have great, uh, we have great other vendors. We've got great competition. But this is a great place for operators to come by and see what's the latest and greatest because things are always changing. Costs have gone up, 
you're looking for cost saving opportunities. Uh, those are things that we're focused on. We also have a line of call cutting edge solutions. So Cisco, because of who we are, we do get first dibs on some of the latest innovations from many of the vendors around the world. So we get into these agreements that, hey, if you sign up with our cutting edge solution uh, program, they'll give us a year or two years a head start. So you're going to see kind of the latest and greatest from Cisco at the show. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight of why Cisco is so happy to be the title sponsor and be continue to engage with Cheryl all these years. Thank you, Jason. And it's always wonderful to go over to the Cisco section. I call it section because, right, Denise, it's just not a couple of booths. It's a whole section. They all have their own section, as usual. And we're grateful to have Cisco as our partner again, as our title sponsor. And they always come to impress. And every year, it's gotten bigger and better. So exactly. We have, we, have, we have so much stuff to show. I mean, we could use more space, but uh, there's only so much space in the, in the convention center and so much time. But we're so appreciative of the partnership. We love engaging with everybody. And we get to feed a lot of people, which kind of is a lot of fun for us. And for me, it's just like you said, it's the experience, you know, getting, getting to see everyone, getting to, to taste all of your wonderful um, food offerings and just connect, Jason. I think everybody, I just miss everybody, right? And so once a year, we all come together. It's just a wonderful, wonderful show. Now for Denise, right, this is our fourth show together. And I'm sure there's a lot of new things that even I don't know about. So please give our members and viewers a sneak peek of what they can look forward to at this year's show. Well, as we started off earlier, we're going to be looking at over 275 booths this year. And so we're really excited about the sellout booth this year. Um, you know, like, like Jason was mentioning, it's like been a, a cumulative of many different things coming to the show to um, enhance people's um, businesses and showing them what they can do in current in current times, you know, after COVID, we learned that robots <laughs> can help our, our service problems, our hiring problems. And so we all come together to help bring and engage um, ideas. And, you know, again, we'll have our security companies such as AD, ADT, um, we'll have Alert Alarm there. Um, they're going to be helping us in our seminars to educate our members on what to do and how to protect their businesses and themselves and their employees. Um, we'll also be having, um, uh, what is that, point of sale again. We'll have Gravity Payments there. Spot On will be there again. I'm really excited about Pacific Bio um, Diesel. They're going to be at the show also. And as I learned, they help to teach people how to recycle their unwanted, manageable waste, like the cooking. And, you know, for a lot of those restaurants, we got a lot of oil after the cooking. And so they're going to teach them about that. So really excited about this year. We have a lot of variety, um, you know, just different, different um, exhibitors there for different people's needs. And that's what's exciting about the show. Yes, I'm excited because the next person that is going to speak is Tyler. And that last year, Tyler, you were that robot was the hit of the show. And so I'm going to have now Tyler, please provide our viewers with a glimpse of what they can expect from Shockabots. Thank you, Cheryl. Shockabots is the only Hawaii based robotics company that sells and services robots for different business sectors. We have robotic solutions to help food and beverage the hospitality industry, even the medical field and general floor cleaning with trusted local sales and support for all islands. In the food industry, for example, our diner bots can help deliver dishes from the kitchen directly to an assigned table where the server can then unload the plates with ease. In addition, the diner bot can be placed around different points of a restaurant to aid bussers with transporting heavy dishes and glasses and deliver them to the dishwashing area. For the hospitality industry, our butler bots can help guide guests to locations in the building or help bring requested items up to guests room, essentially like a personal butler. And in the medical field, we have robots that will help keep medical staff as well as the patients healthier and safer. This is done by having our disinfection robot autonomously go into rooms or waiting areas and use a one-two punch in knocking out viruses and bacteria quickly and safely. Lastly, our floor cleaning robots can be applied to any economic sector to help with vacuuming or hard floor cleaning. 
This has a wide array of applications and our robots have the capability of covering massive areas with little human intervention. Again, this is all to help take off or take away the mundane chore off the staff, which will allow them to focus on higher level tasks. This will then improve the overall business environment and employee satisfaction. Love it. Well, I'm going to tell my own personal story, Tyler, as I mentioned, and as you, Jason knows, I have lots of stories, right, Jason? <laughs> so over at Ruby Tuesday, Moana Loa, you know, the server has been there for many years. If I say she's been there 10 years, she's probably been there 15. And when the robots were introduced, you know, I, I know there's always apprehension. But when I got to see her, and, and I know everybody knows who she is because she's been there for the longest time. She said, Cheryl, it is amazing because they wear those little steppy watches where you can see how many steps you take every day. Mm -hmm. And so she said, I'm taking less steps and making more tips. Because as you said, Tyler, the food comes from the kitchen directly to the table. She meets the robot at the table takes the food off the tray and puts it on the table in front of the person who ordered it. And then the robot gets sent directly back either to the kitchen or to another table. And she said, Cheryl, I've been able to provide a way better level of customer service and my tips are higher with less steps. So she's a happy, happy wage, a server. She's been doing it for a long time. So yeah, I trust her. And I know in the beginning, there was a lot of you know, concerned when you see a robot coming in the door, but she said it's been the best thing for her. So Tyler, you've got a great product. We're all looking forward to seeing it at the show. Jason will tell you last year, the robots were going up and down the aisles, right, Jason? 100% up and down. <laughs> up and down the aisles and people were throwing lays on it, right, Jason? What else were they doing to that poor robot? They're putting... trying to ride it. Yeah. <laughs> I know people are putting their food samplings on it. I saw candies on it. People were taking candies off, putting other things on it. It was just going round and round the show. Mm -hmm. It was the highlight, Tyler, of the show. So we are so glad that you, again, are an exhibitor of the show. Speaking about exhibitors, my next question is to Denise. Denise, do you still have exhibitor slots open if anybody's interested? Oh, thank you for um, asking that question. Yeah, we like I mentioned, we're looking at a sellout show of 275 boots. We have just a little under 50 more to go. So if you'd like to sign up, please be in contact with us. Check us out at our website, Hawaii Restaurant, Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. Thank you, Denise. And again, to Jason, as our title sponsor, I'm sure that it's definitely a strategic move. If anybody knows Jason Wong, Everything is strategic with him. So what are you going to be showcasing this year and um, to help the hospitality food service industry um, in your booth, in your section? Yeah. So, you know, I was thinking about this and I wanted to share a little bit from our business objectives is more about our business purpose. And I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think everybody goes to the Cisco website and checks out our purpose, but I do have it up here on my wall. And our purpose is really simple. It's connecting the world to share food and care for one another. That's the actual business for the whole company. And when I think about this show, what other time do we get to engage with 5,000 members from across the state of Hawaii that's been in our industry, that work so hard, that we all know what this industry is like. It's, very, it's a great, great industry, but it is a hard business. And what we get to do is come in and show things that help our customers and future customers' business. It's, it's really that simple. You know, there's, there's cost-saving measures, labor-saving measures, new innovation, um, and you know what, to be honest, just getting them out of the operation and getting to talk story and seeing what's going on in their lives. It's always great to see um, our customers and industry members from, uh, from across the state. You're so right, Jason. I always hear that, always at the show, always every year, new technology, new products, new ways to help sure. Um, restaurants with their bottom line, Jason, because everybody's looking at the bottom line, as we talked about all the increase and in all the costs, right? If anyone can point out a way that they can save some money, that really helps the restaurants. As you know, restaurants work in really small margins. So for Star, I just wanted to ask the question, because the app is a really great way to find out 
who the exhibitors are at the show and who else is attending. So I'll definitely, uh, you know, activate my app, Denise, so that people know I'm at the show. And then there's then we start the conversation. Denise, do you want to share a little bit about the app? Yeah, for sure. Um, Jason, it was actually, we talked with Danny and um, Danny at Cisco, and he actually shared with us um, some of the things you guys used at the last past show and, um, you know, things that we didn't know about. So we investigated it more and worked with the Whova team. Um, that's the app that we'll be using. Uh, and so right now for attendees, they're welcome to go to our website. They can register there. But as for exhibitors, um, I've actually um, got two star event managers um, that are on board with us and they're contacting the exhibitors individually and going through with them on some of the things that Cisco's already been using, you know, um, being able to, to scan the, the visitors that are coming to their booth, you know, use that um, that web, that um, app to also um, engage with giveaways, engage with um, promotions that they have to offer. And so we are really gonna try and enhance that app from what we've used it before, Cheryl. Nice, nice, I'm, I'm excited. Yes, we all love apps and I'm a big app user, so I'm looking forward to connecting with people. And, and it's a way using the app, Denise, is to find out who else is in the show. And then people will then ping me in and let me know that they're, they're, in, the, they're in the building, right? It's like, yes. Jason Wong is in the building. So then we have to go look for Jason Wong. So now, Tyler, can you elaborate on some of the benefits and um, that you see as an exhibitor? Because you signed up early to be an exhibitor in this show and participate in a big way. So what do you see as some of the benefits of participating? If anybody's out there still thinking about getting a booth, Tyler, what can you say to them? Well, Cheryl, uh, we definitely feel that this is one of the largest and best events for these industries in Hawaii uh, every year. And so <laughs> us participating was a no brainer. Um, we want to get our products out there in front of all these people, you know, great congregation of high level people, like Jason was saying. And this way we can put this new technology in front of them. They can look at it, touch, feel it, see it move around, see it's actually real in front of them instead of some, maybe a video or just something they read about. It's actually mainstream. We, my wife, Amanda and I travel around the world and we've seen this for years now in Asia and Europe and Australia. And so it's just kind of coming, emerging in the US, especially the Hawaii market, kind of trailing behind a little bit, but we definitely want everyone to know that as native Hawaii people, we want to provide these kind of technologies to business owners so that they know that it exists out there. We can support them through it. We know it's going to be some little transition here and there, some relearning of tasks, but in the end, we can make sure that it works well, will support you well. We're not flying from the mainland. You know, it's not, you're not calling tech support somewhere else in the world. You're talking to Hawaii people and we'll make sure that our service and what you invest in uh, works out well. Yes, and, and it does, because as I mentioned, it's definitely, you know, the, the worker shortage that we're going through right now, Tyler, right. this is the solution that you're providing. Mm -hmm. and so my message is to anybody out there that's thinking about getting a booth at our show, you know, please, you know, once you listen to all of this and you say, let me just investigate, right? Let me see what mm -hmm. are available. Please reach out to um, Denise's team and sign up for a booth because it's, you know, right around the corner. I'm like, literally, we're a month away, right, guys? We're a month away. Denise, I can't believe it. We've been talking about so many months and here we are a month away. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, gosh, Cisco, gosh, Jason, you know, I know Jason because I'm, Jason, don't even make me cry. This is going to be a, a true story. When the Maui wildfires happened, I was getting calls, Jason, from two, three in the morning of business people, people that were saying, we need, we need things. We need water. We need refrigeration. We need, we need food. You know, we, can you please do something? I reached out to Jason 
And there were restaurants that lost their power and they knew that the food wasn't gonna last. So I reached out to Jason and said, Jason, can you please help? Can you send someone over to that? It was in the burn zone, but yet they weren't affected because you know how some of the fires, for whatever reason, um, it didn't affect some buildings, but it did affect a majority of part of Lahaina. Jason Wong did not hesitate. He said, Cheryl, tell me what you need. I said, I need a refrigerated truck and I need it to go into the burn zone and I need you to go to this restaurant to see if there's anything that's salvageable because we're gonna cook it. We're gonna cook it at the Lahaina Gateway Center. Jason Wong, thank you so much. Without even blinking, without even saying, tell me what I, you know, without even talking about how I'm gonna pay him for this, he said, no charge. I will do it. Just tell me where to go. Jason Wong, I just want to thank you. Thank oh. you for being that 4 a.m. friend that you can call and say, Jason, I need your help. Yeah. There's no thank you needed, Cheryl. I think that um, Maui, it was, it is just awful. And I think I know going through COVID in this industry and seeing how this industry came together to feed thousands and thousands of people and unfortunately, we had the practice because of COVID when Maui happened, and we did have the the exception to get through the barricades because we were on the ground feeding people right away because we we hold some of the most food on in the state. So before FEMA and everybody else can get out here, Cisco is deployed. My friends at Hawaii Food Service Alliance were deployed, and we're feeding people. Um, and but that's just what we do as an industry. Guess what? We feed people, and then sometimes it just doesn't have to be inside the restaurant. Um, that's what we do. Uh, so just always happy to partner with you, Cheryl, anytime. Oh, Jason, thank you. And it was, it just, just goes to show that Jason and Cisco Hawaii's commitment to our Hawaii market is, is many people don't know about stories like this. Jason, you have to know, I've, I've said it in board meetings and I've said it to the executive committee. It's those times when we call out to people that we know we can count on. And I said, I know who has a refrigerated I know who will deploy them and can go pick it up. So that's when we made an arrangement for you to swing by and pick up all that food so that it could be cooked and outdoor grills, because obviously, right, there was no power. But I just want to share with our viewers and our members the commitment Cisco Hawaii and Jason Wong has to our islands. So thank you again, Jason. Okay, Jason, going back again, as you know, this show is all about enhancing our local food service industry and your involvement in this, this um, show and your involvement during the Maui wildfires demonstrates that. Do you have anything else you wanna share with our members and viewers? Yeah, it's tough to follow the Maui wildfire story. Um, I just think that I'd like to remind the viewers too that sometimes, you know, we, we, were a, we are a local company. We were acquired by Cisco back in 17. I was part of that local company the same 350 local people that live here and you know you see me at costco and we do at church and all the other things um sometimes i think people restaurants or other operators think cisco wow they're, they only deal with big companies they're not for me and actually it's the opposite is true we deal with independent mom and pop and i come from a family business a very small business uh in chinatown so i'm a small business guy. And, you know, we, we, we love to find success for independent businesses. And I think, no, I would just say, don't be intimidated with all the, the size of booth that we have. Uh, we want you to come in, talk to us. We want to find solutions for you. We're there to partner with you. And it doesn't matter your size. We've worked with everybody from concept where they say, hey, I've got an idea for a restaurant to when they're rolling out. Hey, I'm going to be statewide. Um, so I would say, please come in. We'll have something for you. At the very least, I can feed you something, uh, but I feel like we could add some value to your uh, business. Thank you, Jason. And, and in wrapping it up, I just want to give Tyler an opportunity. Tyler, do you have anything else to share to anyone about your um, Shocker Robots? Sure, thanks. Um, again, worker shortages have always been plaguing us since the pandemic, and so with our robots working alongside their human counterparts, it makes it more uh, makes them more efficient and effective use of their time, alleviating these basic, strenuous, and repetitive jobs. 
so that the staff can focus on higher level jobs. Like you were saying, the uh, server at Mauna Lua in the Ruby Tuesdays, she doesn't have to spend, you know, a mile or two of her day walking back and forth to the kitchen. She can stay out in the dining room, talk with the guests, maybe upsell, you know, upsell some items, create more um, buzz in the in in the restaurant, and even maybe even take on more tables because she has this robot helper. And that's really all it is. It's just a helper. It doesn't replace anybody. It doesn't have arms to grab plates or anything. All it does is just help deliver food or bus tables. It, I mean, bus the uh, trays back to the dishwasher area. Once everybody understands that it's just a helpful tool to ultimately do their job better, then they really can tap into the benefits of what these robots can do. And so don't be afraid of it. Come out to the show, take a look at it. Uh, we'll answer any questions you have. Uh, we're very transparent. We're very uh, able to adapt these robots to any environment. And therefore, we can find a solution that will help all business owners, especially in the hospitality and the food industry. And, and I think, Tyler, they're going to be surprised. You know, when I started digging down on these robots and finding out more about it, you know, you have a lease program. So the the cost of these robots, you'd be so surprised because right now, many of my restaurants that they, they call me and they tell me that, you know, they're, they're short of servers. And because of that, they have to reduce the hours that they're in operation or wow. even close, you know, now Monday and Tuesday of the week because they don't have servers. You'd be surprised, you know, you have a lease program, how affordable these robots are and how much more efficient your staff will be. So thank you, Tyler, for being on the show. And now to my Denise. Denise, this is it. 30 days away, girlfriend. We're going to be together at the Blaisdell Center, March 20th and 21st. Actually, Denise, you and I be setting up on the 19th. And I'm looking forward to it this year. You know, we really, really are looking forward to all of the ways that restaurants can, yes, reduce their bottom line and improve the efficiencies. What are your closing statements, Denise? I, I know we only have seconds away, but I just want to talk about the partnership with Cisco Hawaii, with Shakabat. It just shows the local community coming together in one place to help our local businesses. And that right here, it hits me. And, and our families in Maui, um, yeah, we're there for them too. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so in closing, I just want to thank all of my guests for joining me today on my show. And the Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing and supporting Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you on our next show.